Boo. Written by Jack T. Chick. You rented this whole place for only 50 bucks? Yeah, man. It's for our class Halloween party. Everybody who's anybody from Salem High will be here. Charlie, I know why you got this place so cheap. Why? Because last Halloween, 13 people were murdered here. What? <gasps> Did they get the killer? They riddled him with bullets, but couldn't find his body. He must be dead. Then there's nothing to worry about. The gang should be here by dark. Boy, have I got a surprise for them. Carrie will sacrifice a cat to Satan at midnight. That's gross. What a way to end a party. <laughs> They're coming to celebrate my birthday. Beep, beep. Rats. Forgot my chainsaw. Midnight. Almighty oh, Satan, we sacrifice this cat to you on your birthday. Meow. Crash. Ring, ring. I don't want the cat as my sacrifice. I want Carrie. He's killing everybody. Help. Yeah. No. Ring, ring. Meow. Chief, there's another massacre going down at Camp Baselbub. Oh no, if it's the same killer, we'll need an army. Forty minutes later. You're next, haha. Die, you fiend. Pew, pew, pew. What is it? Surprise! Run! Tis the devil himself. He's vanished into thin air. We've already got nineteen dead. You gotta stop him, Chief. He must be on his way to the village. May the saints preserve him. Outside the village church. That little creep is praying when it's party time. Good. Here he comes. Yeah! <gasps> the Lord rebuke you, Satan. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Ah! I hate you, and I hate your lousy birthday. The next morning. Pastor, is Halloween really Satan's birthday? No, Joey. He was created in heaven, and his name was Lucifer. He was a beautiful creature who guarded God's throne. Then he rebelled against God, so he was kicked out of heaven. About a third of the angels rebelled too, and were kicked out with him. They became demons, and Lucifer became Satan. Who kicked him out of heaven, Pastor? His creator, the Lord Jesus Christ. Ugh, I hate that name. Satan is alive and well, and is busy destroying mankind. He and his demons know their time is short. They're afraid of Jesus Christ because he created a lake of fire for them. But Satan wants everybody to fry in hell with him. Unfortunately, he'll get most of them. He is a master deceiver, and Halloween is just one of his tricks. Kids love Halloween because it's both fun and scary. Twick or tweet! But they have no idea what's behind the celebration. To Satanists and witches, Halloween is no joke. It's their most solemn ceremony of the year. As we get closer to the second coming of Jesus, Satanism will increase. So will human sacrifice. Halloween started in the British Isles with the Druids. Those guys were really spooky. October 31st was a night of terror called Samhain. That night, the Druids went house to house taking victims for human sacrifice. No, help me. In exchange for the victim, they left a jack-o'-lantern, which was supposed to protect the home from the death demons that night. Satan loves Halloween because it glamorizes the powers of darkness, drawing little kids into his camp. And it's paying off. Witchcraft is exploding among teens today. The Lord hates Halloween and its evil origin. Sat satanic human sacrifices are a slap in God's face. Satan's sacrifices are a mockery of God's perfect sacrifice for our sins. You mean when Jesus was crucified? Yes. Satan hates that message and blocks it every chance he gets. He has blinded people's minds to this truth. That's his trick. Halloween opens the door to Satanism. Read Lucifer Dethroned and Blood on the Doorposts by William and Sharon Schnobellen by Chick Publications. This is what Satan doesn't want you to read. Don't read this part. Trust me. Sin stops everyone from going to heaven. 
but God, in his perfect love, provided the way. See John 14, 6. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die in our place. Jesus is the only way to heaven. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus shed his precious blood to wash away our sins. If you believe Jesus died for your sins and receive him as your personal savior, you will be saved from hell. Then you will reign with Jesus forever. Forgive me, Lord. Now that's the smart move. But if you're a dummy and go with Satan. Hi guys, welcome to the laughing place. <laughs> you rat. Got the picture? The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me.